Hi and welcome to this beginner-friendly tutorial on how to use Bezero. In this video, I'll guide you through everything you need to know to get started. You'll learn how to create a database, how to build tables, and how to set up basic automation. Whether you are new to Bezero or just exploring new tools to manage your data, this walkthrough will help you understand the basics in a simple and clear way. BaseRow is a flexible, collaborative platform designed to help you organize and manage structured data without needing to write code. It functions like a database with the simplicity of a spreadsheet, allowing teams to build and customize tools tailored to their workflows. With BaseRow, you can create tables, define fields with specific data types, set up relationships between records, and build views that filter, sort, and present your data in the most useful way. Whether you're managing clients, tracking projects, or organizing inventory, BaseRow offers a user-friendly interface to keep your data clear, connected, and actionable. Let's begin by going to the BaseRow website. Open your browser and type in baserow.io. You can use the cloud version or self-host it, but for this tutorial, we will use the cloud version because it's the easiest way to get started. Once you're on the website, click on the Get Started for Free button. If you don't have an account, you can sign up using your email address. If you already have an account, just log in. Once you log in, you will see the dashboard. This is your main control panel. It shows all your workspaces. Now you are ready to create your first database. In BaseRow, a database is where your tables and data live. Inside your workspace, click on the plus add database button. You can start from scratch or use a template. For this tutorial, choose start from scratch. Give your database a name like client management or anything you prefer, then click create. Your new database opens up and it comes with a default table called Table 1. You can rename this table by clicking on the title. Let's call it Clients. Now, let's look at the structure of the table. A table in Bezero is made of rows and columns, just like a spreadsheet. Each row is a record and each column holds a specific type of information. By default, you will see one column called Name. Click on the header of the column to rename it if needed. Let's keep this one as full name. To add a new column, click the plus sign next to the column headers. Now you can choose the type of field you want. BaseRow supports many field types like text, number, email, date, single select, checkbox and more. Add an email address column with the field type set to email. This field ensures entries follow a valid email format, maintaining data consistency and allowing for streamlined communication directly from the platform. It also enables integrations or automated actions tied to email fields. Next, add a phone number column using the text field type. Since phone numbers often include special characters and formatting that aren't supported in number fields, Using text preserves the intended structure and avoids formatting issues. This approach allows for accurate storage and consistent presentation across different entries. Then include a join date column with the field type set to date. This records the date a client was added to your system, making it easier to manage timelines, monitor client engagement over time, and filter or sort based on when relationships began. Finally, add a status column using the single select field type. Name it Status and define a list of possible stages for client engagement. This allows for standardized categorization of clients, helping to track their progress through your pipeline and enabling efficient filtering, reporting and workflow automation. Now your table has a structure. It's time to enter some data. Click on any empty cell and start typing. Fill in the full name, email, phone number, join date, and status for each client. You can add more rows by clicking the plus sign at the bottom of the table. Basero saves your data automatically, so you don't have to worry about clicking a Save button. Everything is saved in real time. If you want to delete a row, click the three dots on the left of the row and choose Delete Row. 
To duplicate a row, click the same three dots and choose Duplicate Row. Now, let's create a second table. Click the Plus Add Table button and name this new table Interactions. This table will be used to track all interactions with your clients, helping you keep a detailed record of communication and activities. Add several fields to capture the relevant information. A link to the client, the date of the interaction, the type of interaction, and notes for any additional details. The most important field here is the link to the client. Choose the link to table field type and connect it to the client's table. Name this field Client. This connection lets you associate each interaction directly with a specific client, creating a relationship between the two tables that enables easy navigation and better data organization. Now you can create records in this table and connect them to your clients. For example, let's say you had a phone call with one of the clients. Add a new row, choose the client from the drop down, enter the date, select the type of interaction such as phone call, and write notes about the conversation. With linked tables, you can also see the related records in the original table. To customize how your data is displayed, start by clicking View at the top of your table, then select Create New View. Name the view something like Customers Only to keep things organized. Once the view is created, apply a filter where the status field is set to Customer. This will limit the visible rows to only those clients who have reached the customer stage. You can also hide columns you don't need in this view and sort the data if needed, such as by join date or name, to keep your client list clean and focused. You can also sort your data. For example, sort by join date in descending order to see the most recent clients at the top. You can hide any column you don't need by clicking the column menu and choosing Hide Field. This helps reduce clutter when you only want to focus on specific data. You can also publish your database as a public view. This allows anyone with the link to see the data, but they won't be able to edit it. To do this, go to Your View and select Share View. Enable the public sharing option and copy the link. This is useful for reporting or sharing information with clients or partners. Now you've learned the basics of Bazero. You created a workspace, built a database, added tables, linked them together, and added views. You also explored how to filter and sort your data, and share your database with others. Bazero is a flexible and user-friendly platform that becomes even more powerful once you get familiar with its features. It's ideal for managing clients, tracking projects, organizing content, and handling a wide range of other tasks, all without requiring any coding skills. With Basero, you can create relational databases that connect different sets of information, making it easier to see the bigger picture and uncover insights. Its intuitive interface lets you add various field types like emails, dates, single select options, and linked records to build rich, meaningful data sets. You can also create custom views to filter, sort, and display data in ways that suit your specific goals, helping you focus on what matters most.